would like to know how, I guess, News, okay? I'm going to be talking about news, okay? Usually, when you talk about news, there are like two different kinds of news, right? Does anybody know what they are? I'll give you all a hint. Fox News. I think I heard it out there. Fox News. Exactly, bad news. You know, we hear about bad news, and hopefully, after we hear the bad news, we hear the... Good news. Exactly. The good news. Okay, I'm going to be talking to you. Let's first start with the bad news, okay? Now, we all we all know some bad news, right? We all, like, family member dying or uh, maybe losing your job or maybe just even losing something. That's bad news, right? Well, for me, I actually just found out that my great-grandmother is in the hospital right now, so that's pretty bad news for me. But I'm going to be talking about bad news, okay? So imagine if we all took a baseball and we went over there to the other side, uh, if we went over there to where the water is, took the baseball and tried to throw it to the other side of the ocean. Do, who here thinks they could do that? That would be pretty crazy, right? You know what would happen if we all tried to do that? We would all... Exactly, I heard it. We would all fall short, okay? None of us would be able to hit the mark of hitting the other side of the ocean with the baseball. Okay, and that's just like with sin. It says in the Bible, for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God or God's standard, okay? Now, it also, now imagine if you all went to the store, maybe the candy kitchen, and you went to buy some candy, right? You would all have to give a, a payment for the candy that you buy, right? You have to pay for what you buy. It's just like with sin. It says in the Bible, that the payment for sin is this right here. Death. Okay, the payment for sin is death. That's some pretty bad news, right? It says in the Bible, for all have sinned. Okay, so if we have all sinned, then we all deserve to die. But just to make sure that verse is true, thing, uh, sin is things like lying. Who here has ever lied before? Okay, so we've all lied before. Who here has ever stolen something? It doesn't have to be something big, be even just like a small paper clip, right? Candy bar. Okay, so we all have sinned, right? So small if child. we all have sinned, then we all deserve to die. That's pretty bad news. Now I've got some good news. And we all know good news, right? We like things like, oh, I got a new car. That's pretty good news, right? Or maybe you might be having a kid. That's awesome news, right? Well, some, the best news ever is the news of, of this person right here. Exactly. Jesus Christ, okay? That's the best news you could ever hear. It says in the Bible that God so loved the world, God so loved the world that He sent His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, down to earth. And it says He lived a perfect, sinless life. But we all are down here and we all have sin in our lives. Okay, we all have sin in our lives. Jesus never sinned. He lived a perfect, sinless life. Okay? Now, you see, it says he came down, and we all have sin in our lives, right? But he never sinned, okay? It says that God sent his one and only son, Jesus Christ, down from heaven to earth, lived a perfect sinless life, okay? He was nailed to a cross. And they shed his blood on the cross, okay? It says in the Bible that there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood, okay? You see, the sin, our sin problem is a barrier between us and God. We can't get up to God because of our sin. But God sent his son, Jesus Christ, he is the way that we can be forgiven of our sin. See, but that's not the end of the story. Jesus didn't just stay dead on the cross. So they took him down. And they buried him in a tomb, okay? And he stayed in the tomb for three days, okay? And three days later it says, it says Jesus rose from the grave. He conquered sin and he conquered death, okay? Now it says in the Bible, if you trust in Jesus Christ and you truly believe that he did come down, live a perfect sinless life, die on the cross for your sins, and then three days later it rose from the grave, you turn from your sin and say, God, I need your forgiveness. I'm a sinner. Okay, I need your forgiveness so that I can live with you 